Hey guys, I'm Sir O, your teacher on the go. Kung bago ko pa lang sa channel ko, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Today's video lesson for information and communications technology, computer hardware, servicing 10 is all about network problems. Network problems. When you suddenly cannot connect to the internet, any of several things could be wrong. Use this checklist to find out and solve common internet connection problems. Number 1. Unplug network cable. Unplug or loose network cables are one of the most common reasons why you might suddenly find yourself unable to connect to the internet. That's a problem on wireless network. but on most laptops, the wireless fidelity or the Wi-Fi radio can be inadvertently shut off instead. On home networks, it's also possible that someone unplugged the router. Action we can do, ensure your wired or wireless network hardware is switched on and plugged in. Number 2, Website Temporarily Offline what may seem to be a network problem connecting to the internet is sometimes simply a website or whatever server is on the other end of the connection being temporarily offline. Action we can do Before assuming your internet connection is faulty, try visiting several popular websites rather than just one. IP Address Conflicts if your computer and another on the network both have the same IP address, the conflict between them will prevent either from working properly online. Action we can take to resolve an IP conflict, follow this instruction to release and renew your IP address. If your network uses static IP addresses, manually change your IP to a different number. Step 1. Click Start and run. In the run window, enter CMD, then click OK. Step 2. On the command prompt, enter ipconfig slash release, then press enter. Step 3. Once the IP address becomes 0, 0, 0, 0, enter ipconfig slash renew, then press Enter. Number 4. Computer Firewall Malfunctions Firewall software running on most computers is intended to prevent unwanted network traffic from disrupting its operation. Unfortunately, these software firewalls can malfunction and start blocking valid internet traffic. When two software firewalls such as Windows Firewall plus a third-party product are installed on the same computer, connection between the two can be incorrectly blocked traffic. The action we can do, if you have recently installed or upgraded software firewalls on your computer, temporarily disable them to determine whether it may be the cause of internet connection problems. Number 5. Outside Wireless Signal Range The performance of Wi-Fi network connections depends on the distance between the device and the wireless access point. The farther away a Wi-Fi device is, the slower the local connection generally runs until it breaks altogether. Wireless signal interface in the area can also limit the effective range of Wi-Fi connection. Whenever you are unable to reach the access point, you also cannot connect to the internet, obviously. Action we can do. Ideally, you should place the router at a height in some central location and away from other cordless devices. Make sure that the router is not placed near something metallic like an Almeida or window grills as that will weaken the wireless signals. Avoid mirrors 
as they can reflect the wireless signal away from the desired direction. Wireless routers generally ship with omnidirectional antennas, but you can replace them with more powerful unidirectional antennas and that will keep the signal from getting broadcast in all directions. Number 6. Wireless Network Configuration Wi-Fi network with encryption options like WPA or WEP turn on required computers to use matching security keys when connecting. If someone changed the encryption keys or password on the access point, device that worked before will suddenly be unable to establish sessions and internet connections. Likewise, if the access point settings are changed to require using a specific Wi-Fi channel number, some computers may be unable to discover it. Action we can take Confirm that the Wi-Fi channel number and encryption keys on your router have not recently changed. Check with the network administrator if necessary. When using a hotspot, Follow the provider's instructors for signing in carefully. Number 7. Broadcast Router or Access Point Malfunctions Home networks that use broadband routers are easier to manage than those without one, but technically, glitches with the router can also prevent computers from connecting to the internet. Router failures are caused by overheating, excessive traffic, or simply a faulty unit. Typical symptoms of a clock router include computers on the network not being able to obtain IP addresses, or the router console not responding to requests. Action we can do, check the router's light and console if possible to ensure it is running and responding properly. Troubleshoot and reset the router if necessary. Change the old router if necessary. Number 8. Blocked by your service provider. Internet service providers or ISP can choose to block access from your account if you fail to make payment or otherwise violate the provider's terms of service. Especially when using paid hotspots that charge by the hour or day, sometimes people forget to keep their subscription updated. Other common reason an ISP might block your account includes exceeding bandwidth scopes, sending spam emails, and downloading illegal or inappropriate content. Action we can take Contact your ISP if you suspect your account has been blocked. Number 9. Computer Glitches Computers suffer from technical glitches or malfunctions. Although relatively uncommon nowadays, a computer's network adapter hardware might suddenly fail due to overheating or age. Failures in the operating system software that control the adapter, on the other hand, can occur frequently, especially with computers that are heavily used. Viruses and worms also may disable or block a computer's network interface from functioning properly. If using a laptop or other mobile device, transporting it from one location to another can corrupt the state of its network. Action you can take Check the computer and remove any malware that you will find. On Windows computer, try resetting the network connection. Reboot the computer if necessary. Number 10. Network Downtime Those using satellite internet service may notice they cannot connect to the internet during periods of very bad weather. Providers in dense urban areas include cellular internet carriers sometimes are unable to support 
peaks in network traffic that causes sporadic outreach for some customers. Finally, those who subscribe to newer or more complex forms of internet services such as fixed wireless broadband may experience more downtime than others as providers encounter more issues with relatively less mature equipment. Action we can do, if all else fails, contact your internet provider to verify whether they are experiencing an outreach. Some providers also give advice on troubleshooting problems connecting to their network. For your activity, answer the following. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. For more video lessons and tutorials updates, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Muli, I'm Sir O, your teacher on the go. Adios, amigos!